All right, guys, today we're going to talk about cells. I'm in chapter seven in the textbook, which starts on page 182. This chapter has several sections to it, and we're going to actually kind of bang all these sections into one. I'm hoping this is a little bit of a review. There's only a couple sticky notes throughout the entire chapter. So starting on page 182, it starts out with the history of how cells were discovered um, from first discovery of the microscope into small organisms into now things that are so small we need special microscopes to see them. All of these discoveries led to three theories that scientists say are true about cells. So they're kind of three rules that are believed until they're disproven about cells. They're called the cell theory. So make sure you take a look at what are the three different parts of the cell theory, okay? Turn in page 184 and 185. It continues into some different types of microscopes. I don't really, doesn't bother me if you don't know those different types of microscopes. You can read about them if you want to. And then it talks about the basic uh, types of cells, um, how cells are structured, how they have a, um, a plasma membrane around the outside that holds everything inside called the cell membrane, and how many of them have organelles on the inside, okay? This leads to two different types of cells called eukaryotic cells and prokaryotic cells. And in my sticky note, I have E versus P compare and contrast. So I'd like to know what makes something a eukaryotic cell and what makes something a prokaryotic cell? And can you give some examples, okay? I will tell you that you are made up of eukaryotic cells, okay? So you kind of know the differences, compare and contrast a eukaryotic versus prokaryotic cells. All right, it continues to talk about that plasma membrane that is surrounding the cell. You can spend a little bit of time on this, but not too much, because later we're going to spend a lot of time on it. But it is selectively permeable. It only allows some things to go in and out of the cell, okay? Here's a great image of what that cell membrane looks like. We can see it's made up of some molecules called phospholipids, and they have a, a head that um, likes water and a tail that does not like water. They arrange themselves back to back to make up a layer. And so I'd like you to be able to draw a label and explain a cell membrane. So take a close look at this. You could do a search online for some different pictures of cell membranes, kind of see some different depictions of how cell membranes work, okay? It goes a little bit further into things that can transport back and forth across the membrane. Again, you don't need to focus on that so much this week. We're gonna talk about that next week. Another picture of a cell membrane here. We're into page 190 and 191. Then it starts to go into the different organelles and structures that can be found inside of cells. From cytoplasm, which is kind of like the fluid that fills with cells, cytoskeleton, it gives you some great pictures of an animal versus a plant cell. You have two coloring packets to do this week. Uh, it's a, one is a picture of an animal cell, one's a picture of a plant cell. I think these two pictures could be really helpful in completing that. So um, what are the key differences? There's three key differences between a plant cell and an animal cell, and you should know what those three differences are, okay? It continues to go into some of the other cell organelles like the nucleus, the ribosomes, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, vacuoles, Lysosomes, we're on page 196 now, mitochondria, centrioles, chloroplasts, cell wall, and cilia and flagella. And then it finishes on page 199 with a full uh, table outlining all of the different cell organelles, what their function is, and what types of cells that they're found in, okay? So you should have a good idea of what the different functions of these organelles are inside of a cell. We're gonna complete a table similar to this in our notes in class, but this is a good reference for the project we're gonna do this week when we make a Jamboard um, cell poster, okay? And that wraps up um, as far as we're going. So we finish on page 199. We're not going any further in this chapter as of now. So although it's kind of right in the middle of a chapter, that's all you have to do. We're finishing on page 199. So it's just a few sticky notes um, through the chapter. We went from page 183 to 199, which is a lot of pages, but only a few key things that I'd like you to know out of each one of them. All right, thanks a lot.